teaser lines. Here is a list of potential teaser lines I could use for my magazine. Win tickets to download. Download Festival is one of the biggest festivals in Britain. It's quite costly, so the fact that you could win tickets may make the reader want to buy the magazine as that instead of forking out three, four hundred quid to get to the festival, then you, you could win it for free. Well, it's obviously not free, but to them it would be. Then I've got win a chance to meet Ollie Sykes. I could have put any old name in, but I decided to pick one of like metal's more current famous stars. I could pick anyone to be honest, but people might want to meet them uh, meet their idols, so it would be good to include something like this. It would make them want to buy this with a chance to meet their idols. And I'm definitely going to have something like six free posters. I'm not sure how many posters I'm going to give away in my magazine, but I'll definitely give some. And obviously this is a trick used in all magazines, saying it's free. It's obviously not free, but people love posters. And a lot of teens and people that read metal and rock magazines, they always have posters up in the room. So it'd be perfect to reel in the audience, try and get them to buy a magazine. Here is my mood board for my cover influences. I have things such as cover lines I like, such as We're Taking Over America, or Britain's Best Band Take on the World, or even Get Ready for the World's Hottest Band. I have things such as poster examples. I also have three covers which I particularly liked just because they were main focused on a vocalist or a lead person from a band or just one person from a band. They also have different shot types and um, have different body gestures in all of them. Such as the first one, he's making like a shh noise. And the second one, he's looking very seriously and he's directly gazing the reader. And the third one, it looks quite angry. And these three definitely connote the genre and also something I could incorporate on my um, front cover because they look really good. Also, you've got the Metal Hammer and Kerrang, which are obviously the two fonts which I looked at to help create my final masthead. Everything on this page has helped me to come up with my flat plans and also um, influenced me in some way. Content for my contents page. Here I'm going to list some of the content which I could include on my contents page. For starters, you've got the typical stuff like the editorial, where I'll give the reader a basic rundown on what's in this week's issue. I have stuff like news. I can talk about the breaking news in the rock and metal world to which is important to the readers. I could have like a QA where I get a star in and he can answer the fans questions. Gig reviews and album reviews. Two very important things because people like guidance and they like to get recommended what to have and like what's good what's bad and they need someone who they can trust and usually magazines are pronounced for that that's something i'd like in my magazine features so you'd have like your main articles your main interviews your main just your main things in your magazine recommendation who to go see what albums to buy what we're listening to stuff like that i'd have like um a win section like a question like much like in Kerrang or I'd have like a subscribe thing and like one of the questions could be like linked to the um, front cover uh, like win tickets to download and you ask a question that's related to download and that's and it's got like an ABC something like that I think it'd be pretty good to have in the magazine I'd want contents to like sum up what's going to be in the issue. I want it to look nice, but I don't want it to be too colourful because of printing costs. Because the typical contents page doesn't seem to have a lot of colours. But I'd want it to look nice and I'd want the readers to find it attractive. Here is my contents page mood board. The majority of things on these pages were taken from existing magazines' contents pages. The stuff that I like and I'd like to incorporate into my magazine you've got stuff like the title the editorial the win section which i was talking about previously the images and the headings and the 
images. I particularly like the image with the number and then the guy and the picture of the band even because it visually the reader can see which band is where and they can look at the visuals and the image of that band they can look at the page number and know exactly where that band is i like how in rock sound the review sections got like its little box which is scattered away from all the other page numbers but i just like the simplicity of Kerrang's contents page layout nothing against rock sounds but it just looks a bit text heavy whereas Kerrang's is a lot not a lot, got not got a lot of text in comparison whereas I prefer rock sounds editorial because it's not text heavy etc I also like Kerrang's contents page because it's just simple is something I might put into mind, have the masthead and then contents. I'm definitely going to have like cover date and issue number as well though. I think following these generic conventions of a contents page will allow me to create a great contents page myself, hopefully looking just as good as Kerrang and Rock Sound and Metal Hammer. A basic rundown of my dual page spread. My dual page spread will contain an image of Josh who is the model for my front cover. I've decided to use him in my dual page spread as I've used him on the cover. The majority of like music magazines tend to have the person from the main article on the front cover. So I thought it'd be good to use him again. On the left hand side, I've got the main image of Josh, which is a close up and I want to have him shouting. I couldn't really capture this in my flat pans because I'm not really a good drawer but I want to have him shouting like he's screaming for attention at the top left corner I'm going to have the band's name without perception I've pastiched this from Kerrang because when they have a certain band in the magazine they usually have the band's name in the top corner surrounding Josh will be pull quotes such as this band is my life and this is probably the best album you'll hear this year this hints at what could be in the interview since my dual page spread will be an interview I thought that having these pull quotes would attract the reader and they'd want to read on on the right page you've got stuff such as it's now or never as the big title it's all dramatic I've decided that the word never will be in red as it connotes like danger or something bad that's happening so it's quite dramatic and I think it sums up the article and then I have a little introduction paragraph um, because a lot of music magazines have a little introduction paragraph before the actual interview starts. The interview itself, I'll be talking about um the band, lineup, stuff like that. I hope that the um is uh, I hope the interview is quite lengthy and um I can get a lot of things in that are quite interesting. Paper. The paper which my magazine will be printed on is newspaper. This is because it is disposable and it would be cheap to manufacture. It is only a weekly magazine therefore it only needs cheap and disposable paper. If it was a monthly magazine I would have stuff such as glossy paper and to make it more durable but this is more of a magazine that you read once and then you throw it away. Here is my double page spread mood board showing things that have influenced me starters you've got two images which i really like especially the one on the left where where ollie sykes looks like he's shouting that's something i'd like like i spoke earlier about and then i like the other one because it's another example of a medium close-up medium close-ups definitely the shot type i'd like to use but i definitely like to do the shouting i've also got examples of good pull quotes which i think would attract the reader such as it's good to be back or I've never felt so confident about an album. I've also got um, text which I like, such as how to write the hottest album of 2013 or the time is now. The time is now is the one which influenced it's now or never. They're not exactly the same, but I thought they were similar in that sense. And I think it looked really good how there was the emphasis on now. It was bigger than all the other text and that frame. I thought it was really good. 
more details about my main cover image. Like I said earlier, my main cover image would be of my model, Josh. I would use a medium close-up and get him to look directly at the camera, giving the audience a stare. I'd also want him to have quite a serious look on his face so it connotes the genre and it makes him like he's the real deal. You don't see people on the front cover of metal magazines with bright and happy smiles on their faces. You just see him with serious and dark looks. And I thought that he'd be seen as ideal self, seen as the anchored cover lines just below him saying Britain's best band conquer the world will make him look great and if he's on the front cover of a metal magazine then he's definitely ideal self as he is someone he is somebody who people can look up to and want to photography that will be required for my magazine i will need several shots of josh as he is going to start on my front cover and dual page spread i'm also going to use him in my contents page advertising the main article which he's featuring in i plan to use medium close-ups as they are personal and they show his face and a bit of his body. I feel like a close-up is far too close and I feel like a medium shot is too far away for like a front cover where it's just one person. It would best suit a band. I will also need several other models as I am having a free posters section where people will get free posters. So I'll need models for them who particularly connote the genre of rock and they fill all our basic expectations of the genre. Also, I will need another band or artist who I can feature my contents page. The contents page is one of the most heavy imaged parts of my magazine and I can't make a magazine if I've got barely any images. And hopefully... In my main article, I should be able to get some live photos of Josh's band from when they play a gig sometime just before Christmas.